Hello everybody, welcome back to the Ostrogoths campaign on Bearpool Games. This has been Pope. We left off with a bit of a problem from the Huns. They're here they're here raiding our capital. And you know, our people don't really care. They're like, yeah, we st we're still happy, you can sit out there and raid, we're still making money. Um you are lame because you have things called devil archers and large onagers and um who are warriors and archers and stuff and we don't really have anything to compete with that but um uh yeah so uh <laughs> that's about all i can say we're gonna i'm gonna move this guy here uh like so because he can actually um, can actually recruit some useful units if he is here um The hurlers is really the only thing that I have with range, and it's just kind of poor. Uh, these Hunnic armies have a lot of archers and onagers, so uh, this one's a bit more scary because they have lancers, so they would actually be able to charge at me. Um, but if I do attack me, I have to have some kind of defenses. I don't have much money to uh, spend. The warband is good, but the Germanic spears are a bit more have a bit more armor, and missile block chance is a little bit you know, about the same actually. Um, but they're a lot cheaper, so. Um, I'm gonna grab a couple of these Germanic hurlers. Um, let's do three of them and another. No, let's just do that. Let's do that. We'll have a few extra units there if we need them. On the other side of the world, uh, I'm waiting to get some ranged units here. And that won't happen until next turn because this will finish and then we can do Gothic archers and crossbowmen. Um, what I want to do is go back and finally upgrade this to the wood carver, which will give me better hunters and my own onagers. So that's, I think, all I need to do. We'll figure out if something comes up. There goes character with unassigned skills. He has a governor somewhere. So... Where is your governor? We don't know. But we can always use uh, the sentinel trait. And perhaps even... Mm. I don't know. Don't know what else to get. 50 year old. Filmer. I have that. I have maybe the zeal. It'd be nice to have this, uh, but I would have to get. Yeah, why not? Let's just shoot for it. If he lives long enough, and we'll look at the family tree and see where he is at. Macedonia, okay. Good to know. Our family tree is kind of a mess, but that's okay. I got one new mod, I think. Uh, that's gonna affect the game differently from before, and it makes it so your faction leader gets influence just for being a faction leader. So even if he is idle, he won't, um, you know, he won't just sit there and be idle, he'll actually get some influence. So you can kind of protect him a little bit and not have to toss him in the war all the time. Uh, into into combat all the time or, or you know, hope for a f uh, some kind of political event that gives him influence. Which is kind of the only way to 
to have your fashion leader gain influence and it's you know it makes sense that there would be a natural sort of prestige gain for being king the huns with their shaman failed to do something which is okay um presence of all other religion penalty is reduced so that's good we have unseasonal conditions and we uh, we completed the fields which will now get us some archers so let's see what the difference is uh, missile damage 66 a lot more expensive a lot more missile damage morale is higher on the crossbows Melee defense lower more ammunition. I guess we'll get some crossbows. Ooh, these guys come with high ranking too. Three chevrons to start with for for whatever reason. Uh, let's get a couple of crossbows. We get one bow, which will, in fact, give us some fire arrows. I think looking at the bottom there should have fire might have fire balls heavy shots what you say there oh. all right anyway I guess we'll find out I'm pretty sure the archers will have it I don't think there's fire balls for the crossbowmen If you watch this uh, campaign, you've probably seen my Burgundians campaign too. It's it's pretty fun. I think I'm having as much fun there as I'm here. Um, we just um, secured our northern border with the Geats by subjugating them and we actually took out a couple of um, armies of the Rugians. So that's helped our progress and then we're looking for new ways to uh, expand. So do check it out. It would help me out with, with you know, people watching multiple things. I know that. Yeah, patrician. Uh, okay, so Attila was born from darkness and despair. We completed one bonus of the one of the objectives. Chapter 3 Survive until autumn of 432 for 6,000 reward. We got some money for last time as well. So Ariaric um, is hungry for power. Um, take office without your approval. He may be suited for the task. Oh, I don't want to lose control, so we're just going to block his promotion. Mercenary negotiations. Recruitment for mercenary cost is 25% better. And I really wish these guys would leave. Ready for battle. But looks like they don't want to leave. For these are the guys that took some attrition, but that's, that's okay. I just didn't realize that they were in... Um, in trouble I should say in um, an area full of goo it was winter <laughs> they were all over they're full of goo mate they were gooed up all right why don't we fortify you well, that Will I finish faster? No, still two turns. I could spend more money. Could upgrade to a small city. I could increase our army recruitment capacity and wealth from agriculture. 
Could improve our granary. What else could I do? Um, let's see. I'm sure. I'm sure there's stuff I can do here. Right. This well is okay. Thessalonica. Could do something like the clay pit. Lower our construction costs. We already have wood carver. We have a smithy. Wicker maker. This is a lot of wealth. Well, public order will drop. Uh, but who cares about that, right? Uh, let's do. See if I do market stalls. There's only really one of these that I like. It's like the either the Amber Trader or the Freight Depot, the Fairground. Here I could do the tavern or the hall of the elders. Communal ground. Oh, two different types. Why don't we do uh, this unlocks the same? We should do the tavern. We're gonna go. We're gonna go for the market stalls. Tavern there, and these market stalls are gonna probably get the trade depot, uh, which will add squalor, but it might be okay. Nope, it's all used up. Never mind. Can't do it right now. How about Sirmium? Yeah, we were gonna build the meeting hall. And this will get us to this building. Which I can't wait. The Warlord's Castle. Okay, so these guys are still raiding here, but I don't really want to take on them. Even though I could. It would just be ugly. I do want to know. I suppose it's part of the difficulty of the game and everything, but it's just you know you're you're here struggling with how much money you're making and what troops you can um, recruit and how good they are, and then the AI will have like crazy armies at their disposal. Which is what makes it hard. I suppose if I wanted a balanced game, I wouldn't be playing on hard. I'd be playing on easier or normal. I, I like playing on normal, I, I would say. And I was just getting a drink of water, but I do think we'll have enough time to uh, get something down there in the east, in the in Camaria. Those guys are on our land, but they're really not a threat of any kind. I plan to just take that army I have and take one of their cities. Hostile agent activity, critical failure. Hopefully that agent dies. Um, they targeted the madness. Right. Okay. Faction destroyed. No bugs. Yeah. Mission issued. Construct the building of religion. What did you do, Inspector Arishaka? Warriors all. It doesn't really matter what you did. For the Let's count ahead. Is there nothing else? Looks like there's no one there. Ready so, 
problemo. Um, I have to continue the siege. They have barely any units. So I should probably get at least some ladders. Uh, I don't think I have to wait until the light siege towers or the medium medium siege towers. So if I do... Let's do this. Let's, let's queue them up and continue the siege. Uh, we're gonna also... That. Maintain blockade. This this will make their um, garrison take attrition, I think. Okay, they can't communicate. The port is blockaded, so they can't get food. And if they don't get any reinforcements in, we don't want to go in with, with just the ladders because we can. Um, I suppose I should recruit a couple of crossbowmen. Um, Maybe just archers, maybe just archers to have as defense here in case we get attacked. And yeah, you guys are still annoying. Let's, let's see what else we can build. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do that church thing that you're talking about as a mission. <laughs> Why not? So if you remember, we don't have many friends in this campaign. Uh, the Visigoths pretty much. And I think maybe the Illyrians, the North, they were still like on friendly terms, but they're not very happy with us. Um, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna raise another army here, even if it's just basic spearmen and take out some of these Huns, because they're so annoying. Um, we'll have to see what our diplomatic statuses with those guys up there. Because I try to be friends with them and they didn't want it. I'm gonna ask again. Maybe they want to trade. They have been sieging that town there for the gold mine for quite a few quite a few years actually. I succeeded to construct really? I only just placed the building. Maybe something was being built. Um, okay, so it has been quite some time since we had our celebration, and I'm sure it would raise the people's spirits to what or whom should we dedicate it encourage the faction, encourage, engage faction politics. Okay, we can um, celebrate military, military victories. I didn't read the fine print. Hopefully it wasn't anything bad. Thessalonica is losing a bit of public order. So I'm guessing I should possibly maybe upgrade this next time I get a chance or or bring in this army. Mm, how are you doing? We're in the same boat. Right, so this guy thinks he's gonna chase me and um, attack me over there. That's fine. Um, I can actually... I don't want to spend more money, so let's end the turn. Another governor with skills. Uh, we're gonna take down his corruption. Possibly give him 
some uh, hostile agent evasion chance and some construction hmm, he's boring and spurred interesting <coughs> it's really helpful if you guys um, are watching that you support the channel with hitting the like button and commenting you can also share the videos out with your friends or on um, other social media if you think people would find it interesting if you're like connecting with a group that is into Total War um, I do have other stuff on my channel too so it really all depends on what your um, desire is and what you want to see and what you think of this type of content of course I should probably remember to do the things I said I would do I said I was gonna check diplomatic relations with those guys in the north and I didn't so I have to do that like right away Another illegitimate birth. Uh, the festival has increased our agent action cost, success for champions, and experience for recruited champions, which I don't have any of those. Vidimir has gained a rank. Be How can I About time, I would say. Uh, Mini defense for Cav, Cav. Melee attack and recruitment. We're also going to give you more ammo. Yeah. Mm hmm. Technology. Ten thousand for combat at a distance more ammunition, more missile damage and elite ballistari preventores and germanic archers what's this? warriors encampment I can't get that so I really can only get these three or this. Ember, Funeral Ground, Slave Trader, Mean Hall. You get wealth from cultural building, wealth from commercial building, wealth from industry. I think we have a lot of industry. I don't know. I think. We'll, we'll start with that. And. When we have money, we'll get this. And then maybe that. It is winter. For the Lord, our savior. Right, so we have both of these. Um, I don't think it's worth fighting, though. It just made our our results more accurate. We're gonna go for a balanced approach. Uh, in fact, yeah, we'll go for a balanced approach. And we shall occupy. Why not? We need to improve our skills. This general could use more. I have any. I have any cav, but I could get some cav. Let's get one of those and one of these. Your 
And you also went up in rank. So I'll actually get Fleet Commander for you. And more ammo. Alright, that's still happening. I almost feel like running in there and saying, Hey, if you're not going to take that town, please let me take it. Well We're friendly now, so we should be able to do a trade. Feast until our guts rumble. Reject. Why must you reject? Ha. Ah. Join my confederations. Confederation. Um, how about non-aggression with uh, payment? Wow. How about trade with a payment? Um. I really don't know what the problem is. <laughs> okay, Italia, will you trade again? Be welcome. I listen and speak for my people in our dealings today. It's like you won't have any of that. These guys are too mad at me. So I have Asia and the Visigoths, I think. And we're trading with Illyria, who is hostile. Sounds awesome, isn't it? I think these guys are friendly with me because of me fighting the Bastions, I think. Might have unlocked... No, we haven't unlocked any new... New things here. So we can definitely try to get more of this land under our control. But it looks like we'll be sharing that with those guys unless they give up the siege. Um, so let's repair the town walls, repair the Yeti, uh, right, I suppose we have to repair most of these waterworks, sanitation, infantry barracks, courthouse. Uh, no, we'll just leave it for a while. Okay, well, I think... I think we've done a little bit and possibly enough for now. We took over Anacopia and next episode we'll try to continue with what we're doing here on... Um, in our homeland. We're just kind of waiting for things to grow and develop and hopefully the Huns leave us alone and we can get more of this desolate land that's about it so until next time please do comment hit the like button let me know what you think um, any other support you can do for uh, me would be great and yeah why not come back again next time hopefully you enjoyed it and I will see you soon enough. Bye.